The Epistle to the Hebrews. Chapter 1. God, who at sundry times and in divers manners spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For to which of the angels said he at any time, You are my son, this day have I begotten you? And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son? And again, when he brings in the first begotten into the world, he said, And let all the angels of God worship him. And of the angels he said, Who makes his angels spirits, and his ministers a flame of fire? But to the Son he said, Your throne, O God, is for ever and ever, a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness, and hated iniquity, therefore God, even your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. And, you, Lord, in the beginning have laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands, they shall perish, but you remain, and they all shall wax old as does a garment, and as a clothing shall you fold them up, and they shall be changed, but you are the same, and your years shall not fail. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand, until I make your enemies your footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits? sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation?